Hi, welcome to Yacht Clock Video Boat Sales. We're going to change the bearings on a Bavaria 37 and we're at Navpegos Boatyard. When knocking the bearing out we had to use a considerable amount of force with sledgehammers uh, to get the actual uh, shaft out and we braced up the hull on the actual rudder stock with acros and then we put two slits in either side at the thickness of a chisel and very carefully just cut down until we got to the aluminium. The whole bearing section was seized and it took a lot of effort getting the rudder out and once we've got it out the bearing itself would not move so we weren't able to turn it. So what we did was put two slits in and as you can see we're just carefully chiseling out the Teflon making sure that you do not damage the aluminium housing because it is possible just to replace the bearing. Now you can see uh, the corrosion which has taken place behind the bearing. I'll give you a more detailed look at this in a minute. And now even though we've cut this junk out uh, we weren't able to move the bearing by hand so we had to get a bar in just to free it up and by cutting the section out it allows the bearing to close and become freer. Now what we've found the problem with the bearing system on this boat is that it was not electrically bonded to the anodes of, on the sail drive so therefore what we're going to do is also fit uh, an additional anode to the boat and bond the whole uh, stock of the rudder try and reduce this electrolysis that takes place. Now here you can see the bearing out. Now on this boat we're, because it's only going to be used just for three months of the season, I'm going to rebuild the whole rudder section next year. So I'm just going to insert the new bearing and we're able to turn these uh, Teflon bearings up on the lathe anyway. So next year I'll be actually fitting this. Now you can see it's got a taper uh, on the outside which actually goes through the hull and then it's uh, done up with a bolt on the inside which I just took off and now I'll show you how the actual bearing fits in there's a curvature to it which allows it to go in and then it just literally clicks into place and then able to twist over so that the rudder can actually self-align when fitting it. Now what we're going to do next is clean up the housing. I've already put a drill in with a very mild abrasive uh, nylon strip which you can see here. And just clean off all the uh, calcification and uh, I don't know the proper wording for it but um, the fluff that the aluminium creates not too badly pitted, uh, so we're just going to quietly with some wet and dry just clean it all up. I was lucky enough to obtain this uh, bearing system off a gentleman who had one uh, free on eBay at a much reduced price. The Bavarias have a common fault with these uh, rudders, they've changed the design of them a couple of times. Um, the one that we're repairing here is an aluminium shaft uh, going through the Teflon bearing onto the aluminium housing and basically it was locked solid. Uh, I couldn't move the rudder whatsoever and this was only after parking the boat up for three months and um, when it was in the water it was working perfectly but after taking it out it dried out and basically the uh, Teflon crushed itself against the stock and stopped the rudder turning. There was also a little bit of damage. Uh, we did one last year. Um, a, rud a boat had run aground and the rudder was completely uh, demolished. And we actually looked inside the rudder and it was very badly um, built, I'm sorry to say. The, the bonding uh, inside the rudder is not very good to the fiberglass and the uh, spreads and also the, um, 
it was not filled. I mean, this rudder had a considerable amount of water in which I drained off and I could see where it was coming in through the top there, which I've re-gel coated for this year. And again, you can see the corrosion that's taken place on the shaft, although we're cleaning it up here. We're not going to get it perfect, but a, a little bit of movement is fine. Next year we'll insert new bearings and we're going to get a stainless steel shaft made up rather than the aluminium one there. And then you can see the whole rudder fitted. Now we fitted uh, an additional anode. Uh, we thought we'd use a rather largish one and chunky because uh, this boat is not used to racing, it's only cruising. And here's the old anodes on the sail drive and that is all the anodes that were fitted to the whole boat which I personally don't think is enough for, especially with today's electrics and everything on boats and living in marinas electrolysis can take place and this rudder stock was not bonded in any way there you go now I'll show you on the inside what we've done we've linked the anode with some heavy duty cable uh, we're using equivalent to battery cable and that goes straight through to the stock and I've put a dupli clip and made a bracket up so it's all electrically bonded and I'm going to run another cable uh, up onto the gear at the top here the quadrant um, at the top which goes through to the steering and then below that we have another quadrant which is attached to the Raymarine Autopilot and at the top there you can see the top bearing. The top bearing was completely free and in good condition. When taking it out you have to remove all these. Uh, they're held on with an allen key and the top one is held on with a screw which clamps up the uh, holding nut for the rudder itself and this tube has got a seal in it which stops any excess water coming up and hopefully this will reduce the wear on the bearing itself And there you go, the boat's finished, ready for the water and the customer's season. We hope you uh, enjoyed this video and found it helpful. From all of us here at Faro at Navpegos Boatyard, thanks very much for watching.